we are at the rum and rhythm and whenever you have rum music and food Where are you going with this? what is it tony harris it's anything can happen you it's definitely caribbean time ah there you go there, right, you, go. there you go our special guest of course tony harris former cnn oh, you, were terrific today. you were absolutely terrific today the people watching us do they know that you were part of this tremendous panel on sports tourism today do do you know that? Do you know that? Yeah, but Tony, I am interviewing you now. Oh, all right? Yeah, so sit back, okay. relax. You got it. All right? You got so it. as I was saying, former CNN news anchor, now Al Jazeera, yeah. friend of the Caribbean, a Caribbean man, you witnessed several aspects of Caribbean Tourism Week um, this past week. Give us your take on it and your opinions thus far, Tony. So what I did is, uh, during the course of the week, for Caribbean Heritage Week, I carved out a section of my show each day. And what we tried to do is the, to make uh, that section of time, about four minutes, available to ministers, whoever was available to talk to us about uh, Caribbean Heritage Week and Caribbean Heritage Month. And it was terrific. We were able to get, to get Hugh Riley on the program. We were able to get the Minister of Tourism from Antigua on as well. And we were able to put together a terrific panel at the end of the week to talk about sports tourism. Uh, it was a wonderful, and, and, and interspersed in all of that, had an opportunity to spend time to share some time with um, uh, Grace Hightower, who is Robert De Niro's wife, who was not able to get to Robert De Niro at the Antigua party because he was swamped, but uh, had an opportunity to speak with his wife about their shared love for the Caribbean. Uh, just a terrific week. Uh, I was so happy to be a part of it and was so happy to be a part of it uh, through the company we formed, Emerge Media, uh, to bring together a, a, a panel, a dynamic panel, of which you were a rock star to talk about the real potential of sports tourism as a driver of tourism for the Caribbean. Tony Harris, as a, as a news anchor for a major network and having the understanding, the sensitivities of what the Caribbean market is all about, where do you see a type of partnership could evolve from this for your platform, well, Riyar? Well, what I'm hopeful of, you know, I'll, I'll take it a step back. I was um, at CNN during the campaign in 2008 that led to America electing the first African-American president. And, and I was so turned on by the way the rest of the world was turned on to America through Barack Obama's campaign. And I've got to tell you, I, I have seen myself uh, as sort of a, a bridging agent. All I w have always wanted to be is, is kind of that conduit. You know, poor kid growing up in Baltimore, able to perform on some of the biggest platforms, you know, in media, uh, whether it's Fox, whether it's CNN and Turner Broadcasting, whether it's Entertainment Tonight and Paramount at the time. I've always envisioned myself as being that bridge builder to, to other communities. And, and the potential is so tremendous in the Caribbean, the countries led by black people. And, and I, women. And women, black men, black women, black people. And, and the idea of somehow lifting the Caribbean up even higher, even higher, and connecting the diaspora, the Caribbean diaspora that's in the United States. Let's just start there. We can talk about England, and, but, it, 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 but the diaspora that's in the United States, you bring all of that together, that is a powerful force. And to whatever extent I can, I, I, just, wanna, I just wanna play my little small role in that. And, and hopefully an event like today's and, and moderating the panel uh, and my frequent visits uh, to the Caribbean, you know, there's a small role I can play. I, that's, that's it for me, just a tiny role. Well, I want to say on behalf of the Caribbean diaspora that we, we are now bestowing on you honorary citizenship of the Caribbean. We thank you for your services, and we know you'll continue to be a great ambassador on our behalf. Well, I, I can't tell you. I, I, one, one final story. You know, there, there, I had one of the very best experiences in my life, connecting with my son in the Caribbean. So if for no other reason that I was able to, at a difficult time for me and my family personally, I was able to get away to the Caribbean and connect with my son in a really meaningful way. Uh, 
the Caribbean will always be a very special place.